Patrice Fermet happens to be one of the most talented humans that I've ever met. I recall on part one being completely blown away by his designs and his, the execution of his designs. But on part two, as he showed me the designs as they were coming together, I was just like, unbelievable. The thing what was beautiful about part one of the aspect of it is that everybody knew exactly what was the alphabet, what were the boundaries, what were the color palette. I think we didn't have to redefine those things. We were talking using a very specific language that has been tested with part one. The fun part of this one is that obviously we have the world of the Fremen. It is bigger and more massive, more action, 40% uh, more sets. It doesn't take me to say it, but Patrice's work on this was just extraordinary. And his good humor and good spirit it always brings Denis to life as well. I mean, it doesn't take much to immerse yourself in the world, you know, it's like, what's so special is there are so many practical sets. Not everything is just blue screens and sand screens and things. I would ask him what his inspiration for each place was, and he'd tell me one was the web of a spider, or the other one was a, a particular watch from the 60s and how it fit together. And it was, it was just amazing to get to see uh, how his inspiration then culminated into this. But the Fremen culture is absolutely inspired by the severe condition of, of the environment, of the ecosystem of Arrakis. It's a planet where uh, the temperatures are super high, where water is like gold, 